beings welcome everyone uh, we are meditating in psalm 27 uh, and today we will look at um, verses 5 and 6 and i'll read it for us verse 5 for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me he shall set me on high upon a rock and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. So here is David, you know, amid his trouble, uh, uh, he's understood something about the deliverance of God. Uh, and this is what he says. He says that, uh, you know, God is able to work in such a way that uh, David can be hidden, you know, even if uh, the foes, the enemies are fierce um, uh, and, and coming to, to uh, uh, you know, completely destroy David. He's saying that, God, uh, I have understood that you have the capacity to hide me. Uh, and and this, is, uh, this is so powerful, you know. Uh, David has understood that salvation of God. Uh, and he's also saying, you know, in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock, very similar to Psalm 91. Uh, but David is able to say this because he knows the presence of God. You know, that is the secret place. Now, this experience of um, being hidden in the secret place, I don't think all of us can claim that unless we make that effort to hide uh, in the presence of God uh, in this manner. Uh, and David is saying that God, when I hide in you, it's as if all my enemies have been blinded. You know, even though I'm there, they're not able to see me. Uh, and that's um, so true for us today who are living on the other side of the cross. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ has provided us salvation, which has covered us, uh, you know, of, of, from the enemy who is uh, Satan. And we know that he is a defeated foe, that we are uh, living from a place of victory and no matter what arises against us, you know, God is our rescue. Um, God um, uh, has already delivered us through his work of redemption. So, you know, we can trust in that, uh, that, that work of redemption that Jesus has performed. Now, verse 6, he says, And now my head shall be lifted up above all my enemies around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. So, uh, David uh, is so confident about the faithfulness of God that, you know, he is saying, uh, God, you will do all these things for me. And so, I am already going to sing uh, in celebration for that. So, David begins to make a declaration of his victory before the victory comes his way. Uh, and and uh, church, this is something we too can learn in our lives. You know, we uh, know the faithfulness of God. We celebrate it. And let's learn to rejoice in God's faithfulness even before we see the manifestation of the answers. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, that uh, you are a mighty deliverer. Uh, and God, that uh, you are our rescue. Father, uh, because of your faithfulness, Lord, we rejoice today, Father God. Lord, even if we find ourselves in, in challenging circumstances, Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you that your faithfulness is real and God, that we will experience, Father God, uh, Lord, a breakthrough and we worship you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.